Mr. Adaptari, what are your chances of becoming president of Kenya in 2017? Well, listen, I don't enter into a race to lose. I go into a race because I want to win. And I do believe that if Kenyans listen to issue-based politics, if Kenyans stop seeing a tribe, stop seeing numbers, and you know when people talk about numbers, they talk numbers in relation to tribe. So I think what, what, I, what I'm trying to do here, and, and I, I'm, I've got the conviction to do that, is that we want to put real issues on the table, like, like the, the agenda that we are, we are discussing here. This is the vision for Kenya, and we, we actually have the nitty-gritty on how we can, we can make this happen. So, I think Kenyans are also tired. Jeff, the truth for the matter is whether these opinion polls demonstrate that so and so is winning. In fact, the opinion poll did uh, not even show that uh, either of them got 50 plus one. But there is also a 46% of Kenyans who are, are completely dejected, who, who are saying we will not vote either of these people. These people need hope. They need to be shown that actually we can change this leadership. You know, I think a new generation of Kenyans must enter into political leadership of this country. The problem for us, Jeff, is that we have sat on the fence for far too long and allowed a few individuals to believe as if that if they are not in leadership, then nobody else can lead this country. And, and therefore, that also has uh, built and calculated a culture of zero ideas, bankruptcy of ideas. And, and we, 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 want, we want to challenge this and say we can do this thing better. All right. You're listening to Dr. Ikuru Akot, the presidential candidate for Third Way Alliance Kenya. The symbol is a camel. Yes. Camel. Come so we have two horses. Yeah. We have a uh, Mbuni, Mbuni. Uh, yeah. and and Gamia. Mm -hmm. And also, yeah, you already right. called yourself third. So that could you have to number third? No. So so mm -hmm. I, I think you're inviting for me to explain to you the philosophy behind the choice of the way third way. Third way. Third way. The 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 yeah. Third way. Three, briefly. Kenya has had two liberations so far. The first liberation being at independence. Mm -hmm. our, 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 our summation is that that liberation was betrayed because the people who took over power at independence and made promises like eradicating poverty, ignorance, and disease are not actually the people who fought for the independence of this country, like the Dedan Kimanis, the Mau Mau Freedom Fighters, the Mekatili Wamensa, and the rest. So they never really believed, they never really restored the Kenya of Dedan Kimadi, the Dedan Kimadi wanted. And therefore, they became the establishment, which is why you can see many of our problems tribalism land grabbing, you know, segregation of certain tribes. It came with us because they did not know the pain of wanting a Kenya. The second liberation came in 1992 with the repeal of Section 2A of the Kenya Constitution. This is what opened multi-party democracy for us. And we thank those people, the agitators for that, the Raila Odinga, the Anyangos, Rengos, Timo Dinjoyas, and, and the rest. But the problem is this. Once they got into power, they started repeating the same same problem of the first liberators of the, quote-unquote, liberators of this country. You still see corruption tribalism and all that. That's why you can see from Golden Park to Anglo Leasing to Europe to all that, Mayim Kwabijana, Kazi Kwabijana, all of them are implicated in the coalition, which is why we are saying both the people, the remnants or the, uh, the, the offsprings of the first liberation and the second liberation are actually coins, um, two sides of the same coin. There are political Siamese twins. So when we, we sought to actually enter into the political arena, we said we concluded that Kenya needs a third way, a third pathway. And that third way is about responsive transformational leadership, honest leadership that's untainted, that's, that's tribeless, uh, that, that looks at Kenya as one. So that's why Kenya needs third way. And by the way, in third way, we say third way is the only way. It's not that it's the third way. <coughs> third way is the only way. Gamia. Gamia. Four reasons. Number one, we wanted to denote the resilience of Kenya. Despite all the problems we have talked about, tribalism and all those kind of things, Kenya is still standing. There's a lot of theft happening in this country, but Kenya is still standing. So we thought, what possible symbol can denote that resilience? We thought a desert animal, like, like a camel, actually denotes that resilience. Number two, Kenya has been in the desert of bad governance for a long time. Tribalism and all those things. We need a ship that can take us to an oasis of good, leader, of, of, of good leadership. And that's why we picked a camel. Number three is a response to what is dominantly pumped into Kenya's mind. That is a two-horse race. Say, so fine, fair enough. You two horses can, can be there. We are putting a camel on the road this time. And by the way, many Kenyans did not know that a camel actually even runs faster than a horse. Do you know that? I didn't know that. A horse runs at 40, 45 kilometers per hour for only eight minutes. A camel runs for 65 kilometers per hour for 18 hours. So if you really want to reclaim Kenya, mm. you do not want a sprint, you want a marathon. And only a camel can do that. And the fourth one is that these people have been winning elections. They have been forming government, but they have never won back the people of Kenya. 
we want to win back our country. That's why you can see our theme is taking our country back from all these people. All right, we're going to take a break.